So I've been messing with Beast Mode after Nokta put up their video explaining uh, the process and what it's used for. I think I've come to the conclusion that it's not made for my soil. So in that test, they go over some targets in G, which has the first uh, few VDIs knocked out. And um, park and field will not hit it with G discrimination. That part of it makes perfect sense to me because G doesn't let in those one, two, and three IDs, those lower VDIs are notched out when you go over to, um, to G. You can see how it removes the first three. So that makes sense to me. What doesn't make sense is the fact that when they did go over in all metal in Beast, which I have now, we were getting a very good audio response on those targets with an audio gain of three. Um, so it was pretty loud there, and all of a sudden we got a 1-2 ID on a... So they did use a U.S. nickel, so for me that would come up in the 20s range. And so um, the difference between a mid-conductor and a high-conductor was only one VDI. So I'm not sure what the soil conditions are like over there, but I do not see that at all. I'm just going to do... We're staying away from the Merc Dime because Beast Mode is, is not hitting that, other than this weird uh, low tone that a couple of us that are testing are, are seeing. You know, yesterday, the day before, we have communicated uh, with Delic and we were trying some different things to see, you know, if we were doing anything wrong or what we could improve on. But, you know, my findings are maybe it's soil because here, I, I can't see that drastic of a drop in ID when it comes to a deep target and not testing park and field in all metal um, doesn't show us that par um, park and field wouldn't hit it because the ID was a one and two. So here's an example what I've just been trying and, and I'll show this. And so I'm using the same settings that they did, recovery speed three. I have IR three though. Um, I can go to zero, but if you're using Beast with any lower than IR three, two minimum, you're going to be picking up nails. It, um, you need the iron reject in beast mode. Now this, this is a, a clean hole here, but it's at depth, it's a 10 inch nickel. Now I don't know how deep their nickel was, but this is the way my soil acts on machines, all, all machines. Um, and leave a comment below if you see, if you see something like you've seen, like you saw in Nokta's video where um, something at depth will give you that one, two ID with a, a strong audio response. I don't see that here. So this is at sensitivity 13 in beast mode. Okay, I have this very low. So we have no ID. We hear the audio response. So let's go up to 15. Still no ID. 17 and we start getting an ID. Let's go to 16. Still an ID, 15. So I get, I'm getting an, I'm getting an elevated ID when it's on the edge of detection. And now nothing when I put it too low at like 13. So their video showed deep coins giving a one, two, and then I go back up to 16, you'll start to see the ID come through. All right, and then I go up to like normal range and it'll be fine. This is ground balanced at 15, uh, which is a good level for me here. So that's this at sensitivity 22. The ID very high. We go over to park and uh, park mode. That's what I usually get as a mid conductor. So if Goldfield is actually, I mean, sorry, Beast. If Beast is up averaging that much to me, where are the one and two IDs coming from on their deep coins? Is it very, very mineral mineralized there, and that's what they're seeing? I don't know. Just quickly over the Merc Diamond Beast, this is what I see at depth on, on fringe. And others are seeing this too. Hear that low tone?
that that's what we're hearing so i just wanted to show that that you know people might have been watching my video and saying it doesn't work well maybe it's here i don't know um history revisited uh, we kind of collaborated on this, which was cool working with him, comparing notes. I had him try stuff. He had me try a whole bunch of stuff. So we were comparing notes. We are 100% seeing the same thing. Nokta showed something completely different with actually U.S. coins at depth giving a 1-2 ID. I don't see that. <clears throat> I've never seen that with a legend. Uh, a drastic plummet like that. If it was going to do that, a 1-2, you'd see a little spike up and be like hey something else is down there that's a high vdi but they are locking on at a one two id um and that's a, only a one vdi difference between a nickel and then i think it was a, a quarter so yeah i haven't seen that before so maybe it's soil i don't know i'm following the same process here of the single ground balance i don't need gb2 because i don't have any hot rocks here um but i did you know, clean them both out, reset them. GB1 tried it. GB2 tried it on different tests as well. But that's what I'm seeing. All right, so we've had a bunch of requests to show this um, on the blocks in beast mode. I'm not going to go through all the blocks because if you go back in videos, you'll see the legend do great on all of them. Great on Masker. A quick example, and then we'll do beast mode. So here's two nails. I'm in park. My regular settings, we'll bump that up to recovery five. IF1, stability five. And even the new DT at six. Locking out these two nails. Over the dime. Very hard test. Legend shines. All right, over to beast mode. So beast mode, we'll put it recovery speed five. We'll try that first. We're going to need an IR of at least two, and I'll show you why. So these are going to sing. These are going to be coming through. You're going to need to use iron reject, at least a two. Here's one. All right, here's two. All right, three really cleans it up, but we'll use two. Okay, and what's our ID? Four, five. So four, five. Note these coins at depth were a one, two. These are a four, five. All right, now we'll go over the dime. All right, nothing. Let's try bumping up our recovery speed, seven. Ten. Just over the park. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.